when I've not been channeling my inner Rod Stewart in recent weeks, I've been digging things out from my student band days in the 70s. And I played something, one of my compositions from 75, 76 a couple of weeks ago. This is another song called Frightened Heroes uh, from band days, um, written by our rhythm guitarist, lead vocalist. Um, a brilliant uh, English student, went on to become an English teacher and ended up as a Baptist minister. And his wife was our violinist, or our violinist became his wife, and they both just retired. So I'd like to dedicate this to Dave and Ali. Um, we were quite, um, for, for the, for the mid-70s, we actually had three screens around the band with uh, people running lyrics up on the middle screen and operating slide projectors on either side. And when I was looking through some notes, as I'm basically clearing through boxes, I found actually the um, script for some slides to go with this song. Of course, uh, not operating with slides anymore. So I thought I'll just try and see if I could do a PowerPoint uh, to accompany it. So I don't know if this is going to work. Um, the song is called Frightened Heroes. The pictures are mainly from Zeffirelli's film, Jesus of Nazareth, and some of them from Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ. Um, so uh, apologize in advance if anybody finds them a bit uh, gory. Um, but it is Lent and we are working our way towards Holy Week and Easter, which um, I know it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea, but um, um, that's part of what I'm observing at the moment. So let's see if this works. We're just desperados, so I heard them say, a band of false bravados who played hero for a day. Group of lucky winners who have had to face a loss, because they took away our leader nailed him to a cross. I remember when he told us we didn't understand that for him to lose was winning now the way it had been planned. Said that we deserved him but not one would see it through. It was easy then to shake our heads and say it wasn't true. I remember in the garden how he went aside to pray, saying, oh, my heavenly father, won't you take this cup away? The taste of it is bitter and the wound so very deep. He returned a while later to find us all asleep. When I think about his trial, can't ask him why, though they knew he was not guilty, still they shouted crucify. When his pain was over, at his three, three women lay, cause his band of frightened heroes had left and run away.
how my friend told me this morning can't believe he lied he'd been walking to Emmaus with Jesus at his side he'd evidently told them and they all sat down to dine that he'd freed them with his body and redeem them with his wine. We were just a bunch of losers, so it must have seemed. Now we know the reason was that we might be redeemed. Our leader has returned now, and we can surely say, from this band of frightened heroes, he will never walk away. From this band of frightened heroes, he will never walk away.